It's been four days since starting the BBB&E challenge for 90 days of BBB&E, and I plan to do so many amazing things in 2024, including running a 5K, getting in the 200 club, so many awesome things that I want to achieve this year. Let's get after it. But before I get going in this video, I want y'all to let me know if you've decided to join me in 90 days on the bbb &E challenge, let me know how you've been doing. I want to know, we have close to 300 people. I believe it was the last time I checked, it was 286 people, I think, that have joined the bbb &E challenge. Isn't that incredible, guys? My buddy Larry over at Carnivore Quest, he even had a live stream yesterday. And in that live stream, we discussed how he's doing the bbb and &E challenge for 60 days and some of you guys are doing that bbb and &E challenge and that's awesome and that's great but if you want to push it beyond the 90 days you're more than welcome to join me for those extra 30 days and do 90 full days of bbb and &E. so let's get real and discuss my four days on the bbb and &E challenge because remember, I was off of my carnivore plan for two months during the holidays. Yes, for two months. And uh, so it's kind of like starting over completely and then adding BBB and E into the mix. I can actually hear my stomach growling right now. I feel like I could hit the pause button on this video and run to the, run to the toilet because things is moving again already in four days. BBB&E has that power to get things flowing, if you know what I mean. So during my first four days, I'll say that day number one, I had already developed sugar issues again just by being off of my carnivore plan for two months. And so day number one was trying to balance my sugar out. And, you know, after I ate like a big steak or whatever, it would help out. But I kept getting the jitters a little bit because... I had been eating tons of carbs. I didn't ease into it or anything. And so from eating tons of carbs and then going straight to bbb and &E, whew, that part was rough, guys. Day number two got just a little bit better, but not much better. I was still like had no energy. Uh, my energy is still not up to where it was when I first or whenever I was doing carnivore last year. And so... I'm, I'm working on building that energy level back up. But yeah, when I, on day number two, it got a little bit better. I didn't have any problems with my sugar. But by the time I got to day number three, I've noticed that my shoulder pain is getting better because I was waking up at night and moving. And y'all know, those of y'all that watch my channel all the time, I have severe shoulder pain. And the shoulder pain has gotten better whenever I eat. A carnivore diet but uh, when I go off plan the inflammation lights lights me up and it hurts and it hurts and it hurts that's all I can say about it is that it hurts and I move it all the time and it aches but being back on plan I'm noticing that that pain is getting better already and it's amazing that that happens in such a short time so by the time that I made it to day number three I didn't have the sugar issues anymore and I wasn't constantly thinking about the other carbs and stuff, you know, the biscuits and all the cornbread and all the different things. Wasn't thinking about that quite as much by day three. I was laying in bed at like nine o'clock at night and I told my wife, I said, uh-oh, here it is. Here here comes the monster. And, and she's like, what are you talking about? And uh, I was like, dude, I got to go to the toilet right now. And so uh, that was day number three at the very end of day number three. I've had a little bit of that today on day number four. Like right now I could feel my stomach churning just a little bit, but it's cleaning out my body and it's getting rid of all that junk and all that gunk that's in there. Uh, BBB and E or even carnivore, it has a way of cleaning you out, but it hasn't been really, really bad. Um, I, I know Larry and Cassie, they talk about the wall of doom. I haven't hit the wall of doom yet. Uh, but I, I will say, you know, sometimes I get full on steak and I'm realizing like, maybe I should have cut those, that steak a little bit thinner because sometimes I, I, I cut my steaks very thick 
to start this challenge. And so, and that's another thing that I'll mention. 90% of what I've been eating, and I'll, I'll do a video probably at some point and show y'all what I eat in a day. 90% of what I've been eating is steak. I've been eating, because I bought ribeyes from Publix when they were on sale. And so I've been eating a lot of uh, ribeyes. And then in the morning time, I eat bacon. And then later on, I'm going to transition to doing more uh, skipping breakfast and just doing two meals a day. But when you come back onto carnivore, or even if you're first starting carnivore for the first time, do not pay attention to how many meals in a day that you're eating. When you first start carnivore or bbb and &E, line diet, whatever you're doing, even keto, please don't focus on how many meals in a day you're eating. Focus on eating the right foods. Eat the proper diet and um, in time your body will be because you're getting so much nourishment. Every time I eat a steak afterwards, I'm like, oh my gosh. And I'm like, man, I'm so stuffed. I'm so full. And I just feel like I feel awesome. But the thing is, like, you get so much nutrition from that that what will happen uh, is that you will start eating less food. You will start realizing that you don't need as much food. But when you were having carbs and sugar, you thought you had to eat everything in the world because that was me. Whenever I was off plan for two months, when I say that I ain't, I ate. Like, in the morning, I'd wake up for breakfast and I'd be like, hey, you want to go run to Hardee's? You want to run to this place or whatever? And I would get like two biscuits and then like three hash browns or either three biscuits and one hash brown, a large tea and or whatever. And then lunchtime, I'd want to go get some fast food or either cook something terrible. I could eat a whole pizza by myself, no problem. Uh, different things like that. Because you guys remember, I was right at 500 pounds and... I was two pounds away from 500 pounds. Being off plan for two months, about a month in, I realized I was being just like I was before carnivore. And it was awful. By, by that point, I was like, Christmas is coming up. Christmas almost here. I'm off plan. So I just relaxed. But I paid the price. I gained 60 pounds in two months. Now, fast forward to now, I know that I'm going to lose that weight. I know that those 60 pounds they have no choice but to come off of me. I'm going to lose that weight and I'm motivated. 90 days seems crazy, but guys, I need to do this. I need to do this to help my health. And so I'm sticking with it, guys. I also want to clarify two things while I'm thinking about it. One, yes, I'm going to be doing weekly weigh-ins uh, to help keep myself accountable but also during the weigh-ins, my first weigh-in, I actually filmed it, I believe on Monday. Yeah, this past Monday. But normally I work on Mondays. We were just off for a holiday. I think it was January 1st. So I filmed it on a Monday. So what I'm going to have to do this time, my first weigh-in is going to actually be at the six-day mark. I'll weigh in Sunday and film it and then probably get it uploaded Monday and then we'll just continue that cycle. So my first weigh in is going to be six days uh, and it should be coming up in just a couple days. Secondly, I want to talk about something without, without getting emotional, um, <laughs> which is hard to do sometimes. Uh, but anyway, um, I wanted to thank some amazing people because um i wouldn't be where i'm at in this journey if it wasn't for you guys and it's hard for me to be emotional and be vulnerable on youtube for the world to see but you guys have been amazing and blessed me in incredible ways and i'll forever be grateful and one thing that I wanted to make sure that you guys know, I'm removing the, the gift cards that I had put on my wish list, uh, my Amazon wish list. And the reason that I'm removing them is because I had put those gift cards on my wish list to help to go towards getting a bike. I'm, I'm a heavy guy and I wanted a bike that was um, like a heavy duty bike. It's supposed to be heavy duty. Well, I put the gift cards on there and people started sending in gift cards, which was amazing and I'm so generous and I appreciate it so much. But at the same time, somebody decided 
to actually buy the bike. So I'll try to find a clip right here and show y'all the bike that I'm talking about. It's It touches my heart that somebody would do that. Now I need you guys to help me with something. I don't know who sent the bike. Um, the bike was sent in a box and uh, it was prepackaged already. So when I open the box, I don't know who sent the bike, but I do want to thank them properly. If, if, if you sent that bike, if you don't want everybody to see it, send me an email um, or, or put it in the comments. That's okay. Put it in the comments and let me know if you sent that bike because you deserve to hear me say thank you and call you out because that's such an amazing thing that you did because that's going to help me. I ha If you noticed in the past week or so, I haven't been doing any walking because since I've started back on BBB&E uh, and after gaining 60 pounds, I haven't been doing walking and jogging as much because you know I don't want to put too much weight and too much pressure on my joints. So thank you for doing that. This is the bike that just arrived. It's a mongoose bike and I'm about to be opening it up after I get done with this video. And uh, I do know that Jamie E sent a seat that goes with the bike. It's a wider seat. So thank you so much, Jamie, for doing that. Also, someone sent me a computer desk and I don't know who it is. It came in a box as well, but it didn't have any information in that box. So I wanna thank that person. Here's a little clip of that computer desk and me checking it out. Thank you so much for sending that. I will use that in every video. Every time I edit a video, I'm using it right now. It's holding my computer, my screen, my, my mic, my, it's holding everything. So thank you so much for doing that. That's gonna help more than you even realize. Thank you. So here's my new computer desk that someone sent me. Thank you so much. I just got it set up like a day or two ago. I think it was two days ago. But yeah, here's my little studio area. It's been improving, guys. Uh, so I have a lot over here. I have a lot over there that I don't hardly use. Every now and then I use that light. But that's my mic that I use when I live stream. This is the mic that I'm using now. And you guys helped me get this stuff. I didn't get this stuff on my own. So I owe you guys forever. Uh, but this is the mic that I use whenever... I'm making a video, except for right now. Right now I'm using my phone. There's my little camera and my computer and all this little stuff. This is my little setup and you guys made this happen. You guys made this possible. Thank you. So I mentioned that the bike arrived today and before the bike arrived, I had put those uh, gift cards on my wish list. And so I wanted to thank a couple people that sent a couple gift cards before I realized that I got the bike. So it was Mary Violanda, Violanda, I think is the last name. She sent a gift card and also PDX One Oregon. Thank you so much for sending a gift card that it was going to go towards the bike. But now I'm thinking since I have the bike, I could use it to get camera gear or I eventually want to update. Like I want to get a new camera to where I can like do cooking videos and have one that's on me while I'm talking and doing the cooking and have one for like shooting extra footage and not having to constantly move my camera. So I might put it towards that. So thank you so much for doing that. And then also Patricia Hardebeck, uh, you actually sent me some batteries. So thank you. I can always use those batteries. I appreciate you doing that. And then Jamie E sent me, uh, 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 two lens caps, one for like the front lens of the camera and another one that goes on the, uh, on the, um, uh, camera whenever you don't have the lens on there. Thank you for that, Jamie E. Uh, a and Jamie E also sent a, a strap that goes on like a shoulder strap so I can hang my camera, my camera from it. Thank you so much. I can't even hardly talk right. Um, and then also a bottle scrubber and the bottle scrubber is actually for for my soda stream bottles whenever they're whenever they I use them for a few times and I want to clean them I can't really stick my finger down in them so it's like a just a normal bottle scrubber that goes down in there thank you so much for sending that all of that stuff will help me on this journey and I appreciate it very very much and I hope you know 
that I really mean that. So I'm guessing that I'm gonna end this video and go in there and start putting that bike together and go in there and start putting the seat on the bike because it's in a box. It's a mongoose bike and it's supposed to be like a heavy duty fat bike is what it's called. And so thank you for the, whoever sent that. If you sent this computer desk and you sent that bike, whichever one, if you sent either one, please comment and let me know. And those of y'all that are on this challenge, Please stay strong, hang in there. Whenever, every time I hear that y'all are doing good, it helps me and motivates me to keep going. And whenever I see the comments that people that are struggling, I know exactly where you're at because I've struggled so many times. I've struggled my whole life and uh, I'm praying for y'all that y'all can be strong and I appreciate the prayers for me and all that you guys have done for me. It's incredible. I never thought it would happen. Um, I don't deserve it, but I'm so thankful and I love you all and God bless and let's stay BB&E for 90 days. God bless.